video in this video we will discuss three important power effects that we use in canvas apps right so first is absolute and add column next average then s type right so we will see one by one so let's get started so my name is sanjay prakash and i'm a microsoft mvp and currently working as a trainer in dynamics 365 and power platform so let's get started the first thing is absolute right the abh which is nothing but the power of uh, power fx absolute is used to calculate the absolute of a number for example you can see here i have first if you can see my formula bar so this is the formula bar let me zoom it okay and let me just sign out uh, okay zoom out okay so in the formula bar if you can see uh, i have used abs which is the power fx and inside that i have passed minus 40 and i have assigned this formula to this label that's why this label is changed to 40 that means absolute function defines or returns the absolute value of a number right that's why when i passed minus 40 it is giving 40 right so if i will pass minus 80 then it will give you 80 because this is the, this is the absolute number let me pass 70.40 or 70.45 now this will give the same thing so absolute value will only work whenever you are having some negative values and you want to make it absolute value right if you make it minus 75 then it will give the same thing right 70.45 so this is how we use absolute or abs power fx in our canvas apps formulas right next thing is we will see how to add columns also before moving to the add column this absolute function can all can also be used in tabular formats here i have used only one function or one value but if you want to pass a tabular format or tabular value how can you do that here you can see this this is a tabular format i have created here table value minus 30 quantity this but if you check this one this is also a table right in this table i have passed two columns one is value minus 30 another minus 40 and when i have passed the complete whole table inside this absolute function the and when i bound these items to this gallery it will give you the absolute values of all the items right although the item is having minus 13 minus 40 it is returning the absolute value of this uh, tabular value and bind to the gallery right like that if you want to use add column right add column is a function or power fx which is used to add a column to an existing table here you can see this gallery is bound to uh, two columns one is value and another is quantity right so this is the complete table and this table is bound to this gallery but i want to add another column so this is the first column value next column is the quantity and third column i want to multiply uh, the first column and second column and display it here so i can use add column so add column is used for a table uh, you know table concept so that i can add a new column to an existing table so we have two columns here so i want to add a new column so add new column sorry add column uh, function request three parameters first is the source table to which you want to add a new column second the column name the column name is amount and the third is the expression what expressions you want to use my expression is this record dot value the same record because the uh, table having multiple records so this record is used to calculate the each record so this record dot value multiplied with this record dot quantity right this is the value this is the quantity now this add column will add a new column here you can see here now this is the uh, amount column which is the multiplication of this now if, if you want to make it absolute what you have to do you have to pass the absolute function in every value right you can make it absolute here 
let's say only I want to make the amount absolute right now you can check here although it is multiplying the value that is returning here is in absolute value right now you can combine absolute value with add columns using tabular formats right now next we will see average average function itself says that we want to calculate average of some numbers right here you can see i have used this is the label right in this level i want to uh, display the average of these four numbers so i can pass the numbers here inside this average function and it is calculating the correct average number right so this is very simple to calculate the average if you have multiple numbers with you and you want to calculate the average you can use this average next is s type s type is important right now let us understand what is the need of s type let's say I am I have associated the contact information from dataverse to this gallery and in this gallery we have seen that this is the email and this is the title associated with it the first one is full name and the second one is email now instead of email I want to just associate the company name or the account to which this contact is associated with now if I'll just use this and search company name can you see that the company name is not here right if I will go here and manually change this instead of email I will select this and instead of email I will just use this item dot company name right if you use this company name what it will do it will throw error why because company name is a lookup field right and there is a relationship with account right if you just click on dot and just type company name it will be assigned but it will throw error why because company name is a polymorphic lookup in contact entity or contact table and contact table uh, which is uh, the lookup account lookup which, which can be connected to contact and account so you have to mention here that which lookup preference you want to display here right so edge type is used to identify which type of entity relationship is this or entity target entity is this if you want to display account information you have to write down this edge type said that you have to pass the value as company name because this is the lookup value next you have to pass the type of table so this company name is which type of table it's, it is account table so you have to pass accounts then after that you have to close bracket and now this will represent a reference to the account table now for this account table which value you want to display where the company name is this I want to display name account name so I can display account name now it will display account name in each contact record can you see that now you have to remember this edge type is used to uh, to you know uh, type cast or uh, for casting purpose right this company name is not a simple data type this is a lookup data type so we have to convert to a type of that target entity then we have to use the respective uh, field or uh, field name to display right like here I want to display account full name account name if you want to use any other field also I can use it let's say for that account I want to use uh, let's say annual revenue I can use annual revenue so this annual revenue is pointing to the account to which this company is or this contact is associated with okay if you scroll down you can see if there is any annual, annual revenue is existing but i don't think there is any annual revenue exist then you can use some something else dot account name the point here is edge type is used to typecast your field to a target type 
then you can use the target types field to display data right i hope you understand this four important power effects and that you can use in your projects thank you for your time guys i will come with more power effects in canvas apps in my next videos if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel thank you